Once you log into Digication, you'll be on the Home tab. This is the landing page where you can access your ePortfolios in addition to any courses or communities that you may be enrolled in. When you're ready to create your ePortfolio, click on your course listed under My Courses. From here, navigate to the ePortfolios tab. You should see that your instructor has made a template available for you. When you're ready to create your ePortfolio, click on Create ePortfolio from Template. From here, you'll have to enter some basic information about your ePortfolio, such as the title. You should see that the web address automatically generates underneath. Since you've already chosen the template for the course, you can skip that section. And under Choose a Theme, if you wanted to customize your theme, such as changing the directory icon, uploading a new header image, adjusting the custom CSS, or adding a footer, you can do that here. Or you can always go back and customize at a later date. Under Permissions, you can choose to make your ePortfolio private to you, private within SBS, or completely public. We recommend selecting Private within CUNY Online. And you also want to make sure that you show your ePortfolio in the directory. Under Categories, list yourself as a student. And under Additional Permissions, you should see that the students and faculty from your course are listed. The last section that you're going to need to complete is Tagging. You can choose whether or not you want to allow tags on your ePortfolio. When you're ready, click Create New ePortfolio. So here is what Jane Doe's ePortfolio looks like for Philosophy 101. To make sure that your ePortfolio is listed in your course, click on your course, the ePortfolios tab, and you should now see your ePortfolio listed. This is also a way to access your fellow classmates' ePortfolios. If you need any help, please refer to the resources available to you on the left side of the Home tab.